All right, hello, good day. So, another factor influencing plant layout is machinery. Now let's go find out what with, with machinery then. The second in importance to the product or material itself is the process or operation machinery and equipment. Information about machinery including tools and equipment is fundamental to proper arrangement of that machinery. There are various factors which play important rules and have great bearing on the layout of any plan. For proper layout, it is necessary that all the factors which are part and parcel of production's activities, whether apparently important or not, should be considered very carefully at the early stage of planning. It may be that single factor overlook at this stage may cause the planner in a big way later on by by way of you know high production cost or long movement of material or product itself and etc now as i have mentioned earlier information about machinery including tools and equipment is fundamental to proper arrangement of that machinery thus as a planner, you have to know what are the features of the machine that needs to be, you know, um, set up in this location or in that particular location or whatnot. These features or these features includes production machines, process or a uh, treating machine, uh, I mean treating machine, special attachment, jigs or tools such as jigs, fixtures, dies, forms, pattern gauges, measuring machinery, test units, also hand-in-hand -hand operated power tools, um, control or control panels, idle or dead machine items, machinery, uh, sorry, machinery from Danan's tool, tool shop and other services. Now, the list of considerations under the machinery factor includes first, process or method, second is machinery tools and equipment, third is um, machine utilization, and finally, requirement for machinery and process. The operating machinery is one, or I mean, the operating machinery is also one of the most important factor therefore all the informations regarding equipment and the tools are necessary for inspection processing and maintenance and etc thus the process and methods should be standardized standardized first this means that uh, you have to <clears throat> i'm sorry this means that you have to get standard function of the uh, machine as well as the method in, the, in that way you'll have the appropriate layout for the machine in question like for example how the machine will be used what what would be the method or function of the machine how many person will offer it operate the machine if any or how many person needed in case of um, maintenance etc now, machinery and tools um, selections depend upon the type of process and method. So, therefore, um, proper machinery and other supporting equipment should be selected on the basis of volume of production. So, I think this is going to be a self-explanatory. So, the third or the next one would be equipment utilization depends on the variation in uh, production requirements and um, operating balance machine machines should be uh, used to their optimum level levels of speed fed or f uh, yeah fed and depth of cut machinery requirements is most uh, is mostly based on process or method and maintenance of machinery replacement of part is also important now, machinery and equipment without doubt have uh, greater influence on the plant layout solutions than any other factor. Why? Yes, machinery and equipment really are without a doubt have a greater influence on the plant layout solution than any factor. But I am not saying that it is the most important part of a plant layout because the materials had taken the place. It is because it would be impossible to make an optimum layout without the complete information 
about the machinery and the equipment to be used in the manufacture of the designated product in a desired quantity. When we say optimum, it is the most conductive to a favorable outcome or best. So it means when you are just planning to make a plant layout, it is okay not to consider putting the right machinery or equipment into the production. But for IEs that has intention to gain more efficiency, especially in lean manufacturing or 5Ms, this machinery factor is not to be handled easily. For proper arrangement of the machinery and good layout, one must know the type of the machines needed and the exact number of each machine. It means that it's like when hiring someone. If you have the opportunity to hire someone to work in your organization, it is best to know the people like his skills and capabilities and also on how many can you hire depending on the situation of the company, whether it is small scale or large scale business. Thorough consideration should be given in the selection of machinery and equipment as this decision can affect the layout and the entire economy of production. For example, your organization is making garments, so the most common and important machine to use is the sewing machine. So you immediately bought sewing machines without knowing that the sewing machines had different kinds of uses, like for jackets, leathers, and etc. So what do you think happened? Yes, alpac. The dimensions of the machine help to determine the optimum use of space available, and the weight of the machine affects the foundation and helps to decide about the type of building. Have you ever watched RTIF? There was this one episode that in a construction site, the crane fell because of negligence of properly assessing the foundations in the said field. Light machines can be installed in multi-story building, whereas if machines are heavy like forging and produce heavy vibrations, only single-story building are suitable in such cases. The equipment will also influence the layout as it may need superstructure, feeder, and hopper and the like. Why does this important? People and materials always come and go, but when we are talking about machines, they rarely pull down. Example, a weight lifter can lift heavy loads of kilograms of steel, but they cannot maintain it for long. The machinery height dictates the minimum height of ceiling or roof overhead installation. This may limit the area where certain high equipment may be located. It must always be remembered that any layout sufficient space must be provided not only for the operators but for the materials to be worked on, the complete work, ancillary equipment, access to machines for repair, or etc. It means, when constructing a plant layout, we should always consider enough space, not just let the machine barely fit in the area, but also when the machine is being lifted up to move around, and especially if the machinery used is making output products upward. For example, in a single room, we have the machine barely fits in the room, from up to bottom and side to side. But the product we are producing are flagpoles. Even though the raw materials, machines, and operator fits in, if the output when finished can fit, it still be useless. In addition, space must be left for moving the equipment in or out in case of changes in layout. This is particularly a problem when columns and walls are nearer to elevators or etc. In general, the production machinery and equipment must be selected long before the layout work is started. Always remember the best plant layout are having the right person, place, machine, materials, service, space, waiting, and change at the right time. Points to remember when selecting the machinery and equipment Volume or capacity Quality of output Initial cost Maintenance or service cost Operating cost Space requirements Reliability Availability Hazard to men, material, and other facilities Anticipated period before obsolescence Ease of placing Associated and pleasantries Noise, smell, and etc. Legislative restrictions 
high in existing machinery and equipment, and auxiliary service requirements. There are formulas we need to know on like how many machines will be used in the operation or to what kind of machines are best used in the operation. First, we have the standard time. Standard time is equal to normal time divided by the allowance factor. Second, work efficiency is equal to output over input. Lastly, the machine productivity is equal to average output per period over total output by the same period. Now, why does this important? It is because not all machines can make the production fast or the production makes the top quality products. Sometimes, by putting machines carelessly in the production can make the production slower. Before we end the discussion, let me remind you by Albert Hubbard that one machine can do the work of 50 ordinary men, but also no machine can do the work of one extraordinary man. So always be careful in putting the machine in plant layout because it might not be the result you're expecting to. Once again, this is Christian Dave and Phil Sison. Thank you and goodbye.